what? And it, it's hard, you know, to I, I, a lot of times ask an uh, uh, an artist this, but who or what have been some of the major influences on your your style personally? I always panic when I, that question is asked to me because when someone asks me that, all the names goes away, you know, of the painter. I, I don't know who. It depends on the period, you know. I. If you had, if you look I was impressed by certain pe painter at a certain mm -hmm. period, and then go after another way I didn't like. For the, at the beginning, I used to like Portinari, and after, not after for a while, Cat Colwitz, and then after, I discovered a French painter, and you know. How do you feel your work is growing now? Do you see it? Do you see it growing? Do you see it developing? And where do you see it going? <laughs> That's a very difficult question. Because I know, but you must have you, you must have some ideas of of um, uh, any artist has to continue to grow uh, in what what she or he is producing, and in the process of doing that, there's some experimentation that goes on to... I don't have any concept, philosophy or anything like that, just instinct. That's why it's always difficult for me to answer a question like that. You know, I, I discover as I... And my eyes and my feeling, that's what I work with. Mm-hmm. Well, do you, you see... Grand do you see any new elements that are that are coming into your work now that, that may have not been there several years ago? Yeah. Like, for instance... So some of those organic, organic things like you know, plastically. I mean, you know, banana tree, the the the, comment dit on les corse. Uh huh. The, the banana tree, in detail, you know. I mean. But that's what I was referring to. That mm -hmm. that's right. You, when you see my work, you see I texture is very important to for me. You know, I I uh, play with texture. So well, there are some things uh, in Haiti that I. Have I didn't have in France, you know? Let's let's talk a, just for a few seconds about art in general in Haiti. Um, the the critics, the historians, the, the the curators are talking about this this third generation of, of Haitian uh, Haitian artists. Do, do you think that that's a, a, a valid way to define periods of, uh, of development of, of art in Haiti by, you know, the, the, the first, second, and, and now currently the third generation? Do you think, do you think that's an accurate way to, to, to categorize uh, either groups of people or... Uh, Say the question again. Okay. Do you think there is a third generation that that's present now? Yes, I believe so. You, but you I don't know it, unfortunately, and I. I think there, I'm sure there are some young coming with something new, and I wish I, I could meet them and know them and maybe get some stimulation or idea of. Okay. What do you? What do you see as 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 the the uh, the current situation with our art in in Haiti now? From a commercial point of view, it, it it's never probably never been 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 greater. You know, there are there's more being sold, there's mm -hmm. more being produced. Um, is this good? Is this bad? I don't know how. The should I say something? Like that? It's, it has been so commercial this past, and so many mediocre things that I'm worried about the the future of Haitian art. You know. How so? Why would you say? How how would you say you're worried? Or well, then if if for a long time they keep doing producing mediocre thing then it will go down the, the reputation will go down then i believe the, the artists are pushed by 
also by the necessity and also the gallery too to be commercial. I pretend it. Do you they think? They would be mad, but I, I know I could say that in front of them. No. Definitely, I, I don't mind. The, the the problem of repetition. Is, is, is that a problem, or the, the issue of repetition, where, where it's not just a, a, um, a matter of stylistic consistency, but it's image repetition, where the same images are being done over and over again because someone strikes on one that is very saleable. For some artists, yes, I think, I don't know what, uh, but they will reach a point where it, they will have to find something else, I don't know, but I know for some artists, there's a certain picture has been has been done since years. The same one. And do you think that just represents that there, that the, that, in a way, commercial commercial success has taken away from uh, from those artists to grow uh, aesthetically? Yeah, in a way. Yeah. Um, the. Okay, hold on. What we're seeing, we're seeing so much of, for instance, in Florida now, just s several galleries have opened in Miami selling what they're portending to be uh, Haitian art, which are paintings they buy here for 20 or $30 in the street and they take back there and sell for two or three hundred dollars. Oh my God. And it is, uh, and people are buying them and it's, it's all, you know, very trendy and very mm -hmm. chic. Um, and there's not an understanding. And the, the artists are not the, the, those making the money, you know? I know. It's That's why I'm disgusted. It's, it, it's, very, uh, it's very misleading. That's why I don't want to get into the market. I pretend that I'm not in that business. Not at all. No one can pretend that you will not see my work in any gallery except at the art center and the museum. I'm not in any gallery because I don't I don't work enough to, I can't work quick. It's, uh, I mean, it's difficult when I'm not commercial. Do, do you sell from your studio then, pretty yeah, much? Yeah, but I have to do other things. I don't sell often enough to survive with my painting. Do you think? I could survive with my painting in, if, in, if instead of doing one, the one good thing that I do, I do 10 and then give to the gallery for them to sell. Give, sell them for $500, they sell it for 2000 Exactly. So do you, do you think there's no middle ground between commercialism and, and, and fine art here, the way, the way, the, the way it is now? That the, that the ap appeal for the for the galleries is to it's, I, I feel sorry for the young it's difficult because in a in a country where there is no we don't have tradition like in France they have two thousand years in America you know they have well they, it's not a very old country but it that's a country where we born great mm -hmm. you know who knows all the tradition of other people and they, so they are you know. They know well enough to not to slide in the not to not to fall prey to 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 I that don't commercialism. Know what, uh, there are some things that the Haitians don't have, like the le feu sacré. I mean, feel like the need to work, like just for working. Regardless if they are selling or not, one has to work to 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 make progress to do something nice. You have to work to to grow. To grow. That they don't. You can't blame them because they don't know it. I learned that in France myself. I used to at the beginning. I used to work a lot, but because I I had nothing else to do, I was annoyed and I don't know what to do with myself. I used to spend a lot. I made progress at the beginning, very not that I knew the need that I had to work to, to, to go. It's because I didn't know what to do with myself, and then I worked. But in France, I learned something else. And also in America, that one has to, to work. 
that is that's probably one of the biggest misconceptions that a lot of people have about artists is they think that well you know they paint when they want to and the rest of the time they drink wine yeah. and talk mm -hmm. and don't realize the enormous self-discipline well, that's involved discipline that's what i learned you the in? discipline same if you don't feel like it and i i have some discipline as much as i can of course i sometimes i have to go out for for some reason to to have some money and fight for the money but otherwise my way to have a discipline is to give it an appointment to my model. Sometimes I'm wishing that he would be sick not to come. But I have that date, and he comes, and I work because I have to pay him anyway. I don't feel like working, but I work, and after, I'm happy. After two hours work, I'm glad I make that effort. I'm glad I, the model came because, I, you know, it's always good. You see, I don't always feel like working. I'm not that fantastic. I want to be lazy too sometimes, but I just put myself in the spot. So I can't do anything else except wishing that the mother will die this morning not to come. <laughs> <laughs>